Hey, babe. Hey, it's just us. What's up, babe? Oh, everything's good. Hello, babe. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to episode eight of Hey, Babe podcast. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, this is actually exciting because we've spent a couple of weeks having like guests and different yeah. kind of ones. And now it's finally just us. It's back to just us. It's our lucky number episode eight. Yes. If you don't know, eight is our lucky number. Why? Why? Because we were married on 8808. The first time. <laughs> yeah, the first time. That's true. It was lucky. It was a little unlucky at first, but it's still our lucky number. Yeah, yeah. Eight's always been uh, a good number for us. We did kind of choose it randomly because we just were like, well, what day should we get married? And then we chose eight because... Oh, we did because it was the year 2008 and it was trendy no. to like... Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, no, it wasn't. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So it was the year 2008. The trendy thing to do was to get married and have all the numbers the same for some reason. Was that the trendy thing? I don't know. I think it um, increased the probability um, that you're probably going to give it get divorced and marry the same person again because mm -hmm. that's what happened to us. That's what happened to us. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so then it was, we were like, well, eight's coming up. We could do 8808, and then we were like, oh, that's so cool. And then um, everyone's like, oh, yeah, the eight's like the infinity sign. It means forever, and, and it's we like, like beautiful. <gasps> and we're like, yes, that's our number. But then, yeah, like eight has treated me really good, I feel yeah. like, for the past I 10 actually, years. I <laughs> actually, my favorite number is four. So you put four and four together, it means yes. eight. So <laughs> uh, what about the people who are married on 6606? Were, were were there people were married? There, did anyone are get married? Are they still married? Or are did they anyone get ma married on June 6, 2006? That'd be wow. funny. And what about the people who are married on 11, 11, 11? Wow. That'd be cool. They. I bet there's a lot of those. They're going to have 11 babies. <laughs> I bet when they were planning their marriage for or their wedding for 11, 11, 11, they had to plan it out a few years because everything booked. was booked. <laughs> I bet, yeah. That's so funny. Because like that's a really awesome... I really want to know if there's anyone watching if they were married on either of those... I know. Let us know. Where, when were you guys <laughs> married? Let us tweet us on yeah. our, oh, hey, hey, good segue for the Twitter. Hey, hey, at Hey Babe on Twitter. Follow us there. We love to interact with you guys and you can tweet us yeah. um, some weird wedding dates. Yeah, or just let us know how long you've been married if you've been married. Or, tell us, your, like or tell us your hilarious wedding stories and maybe we'll tell them with some of ours. Yeah. So we've been married now for a long time. <sighs> feels like it's been years or it feels like it's been decades it's been a decade one decade so we've known each other for over a decade yeah we've actually known each other 12 years or th so we don't know uh, it's been a long time though everything just starts blurring yeah no i think that's kind of cool yeah. though is that we just feel like we've known each other for a long time we have not reached the moment of you know knowing each other longer than we haven't known each other because we um, definitely, oh, yeah. we'd have to be yeah. know each other for at least like what, 16 to 17 years. Yeah, yeah. So once we hit that, that'll be kind of fun. Yeah. That'll be a, kind of a <laughs> new like era, I guess. Totally. I don't know. But yeah, we've been married 10 years. 10 years. 10 years as of like the week that this is coming yeah, out. Yeah, around the time you're hearing this because uh, I think podcasts, like we're, the audio's going up on Monday. Like yeah. if you're lucky and the video <laughs> goes up on Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. Lucky. Yeah. Maybe we'll try to get this one up. Yeah. So our anniversary is on Wednesday yeah. and we're so excited 10 years is pretty cool I'd say that's definitely an accomplishment we got past that seven year itch that's for sure yeah the first yeah. the, the worst was the first I'd say Missy had a f we had a first we year. did it sorry I always, I always like to blame you I know it's funny. it is a funny <laughs> joke but the truth is is that it was a hard year for both of us yeah it was but I think for any marriage it is and for me I just kind of was like whoa 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 if this is how hard it's gonna be I don't want to do it yeah but I'm so glad that I actually ended up, you know, fighting through all those issues that I was having. I mean, I think we both fought through a lot of the issues that we had and we grew yeah. as better people being apart and we got back together and we have grown together as a couple, as I individuals so much in the past 10 years, but especially in the last, you know, five years since we had Ollie. Yeah. We we waited a long time to have kids, which I think we'll maybe talk about later, but yeah. Ollie turned five. That's a kind of an exciting thing. Yes, that we our did. oldest son is now five. It's crazy to think that we have a five-year-old. And I've said that so many times out loud. Like, I, 
to, to him, mm-hmm. I've said, like, I can't believe you're five. And now yeah. he just walks around the house and he goes, I can't believe I'm five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, me it. either. Stop bringing it up. He honestly, the night, the couple nights before he turned five, he actually had a little meltdown because he was like, I don't want to be big. Yeah. I just want to be this big forever. Like That may have been my fault because we were holding each other crying about him turning five a couple of days prior. So <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I had, like, I had I had some it makes emotions daddy to Daddy's sad when I get big. I know, I know. <laughs> well, so he funny. promises he'll be my baby forever, which I think is like the cutest thing for yeah. a little boy to say to his mama. He's so cute. He just really cares about us and loves yeah. us and I love it. He got a haircut the other day and you were saying he was having such a fit in yeah. the haircutting place. Why? <laughs> so we took him, I took him to a different place because his normal hairdresser, who is Travis, who he loves. Uh, yeah. Who cuts my him. hair, by the way. Yeah. He's been cutting my hair he's, for like two years. He honestly is a very cool guy and he has a very cool salon, but he's been really booked and Ollie needed a haircut. In fact, Ollie and Finn really needed a haircut. So I took him to this little cool cuts hair salon. And if you guys have ever like seen them, they're usually the ones where you can put your kid in like the train or yeah, the little like a car. Yeah, And usually kids love it. Well, like he walked up and he was instantly just like, I think I'm too big for this. He's like, can I get the normal scene? Yeah, he, you know, he really did. I was like, no, Ollie, it's fine. It's fine. And at Travis's shop, he's got like the super cool vintage, Mm -hmm. ultra modern, like airplane chairs. It's just like so cool. By the way, shout out to Buffalo Co. and Salon. If you guys are in the Temecula area and you're looking for... Um, a good salon, Buffalo Co. in so Temecula cool. is awesome. They serve beer and wine. and it's Oh, so really nice. good cold brew coffee, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyways, Ollie loves it. And he was just, he was like, so, so not into this. And I was actually like, okay, Ollie, like, calm down. I you think can I created, sit in the train. I think I created a monster. I've made him a little <laughs> bougie about his haircuts because he's like, yeah. where's my glass of ice water? Yeah. <laughs> very he did not get it in i told him no ollie it's fine it's fine just get in sit down and um the lady was like all right um so are you excited to get your hair cut and he literally was like uh i kind of just want travis (laughs) she's like oh who's travis is that your dad i was like no, that's actually his, his hairdresser that normally does his hair. And she's like, oh, okay. Yes, my son is five years old, and he has a preference on who cuts his hair. Yes. It's He's totally me. It's like all those same, like, fears are the same fears yeah. I have. It's like, no, she's going to mess up my hair. And I've gone into so many salons, and I'm, I've been like, this is not my person. She's going to mess up my hair. And then they always do. The, you've been doing that since we were in high school, I for know. Sure. I've always been so bougie about where to go get my hair cut. So, but here's the thing. She could tell right away that Ollie was just like a little unsure about this whole situation. And so as she walks away, I'm like, Ollie, are you good? Like, we're, you're just going to get your hair cut. And she's like, I just, he goes, I just really, I don't know if daddy's going to like it. Oh, <laughs> it's like daddy's gonna love it. Don't worry. Like he just, seriously, don't that worry. is so. That's amazing. He cares so much about like what I think. That's yeah, adorable. no, he cares about what both of us yeah. think for sure. Like he just wants us to be like happy. He knows that it makes him. Yeah. I think it makes him happy to go and get his hair done with you. It's like a guy thing. It really is. It's really. It's a really cool trip for us. Yeah. But it's hard because my guy, he's seriously booked out yeah. like seven. Even you weeks. have a hard time. So I had to pre-book my next four appointments and they're like, oh, do you want to book the kids? I'm like, I ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> the, he's five years old. Okay. I can't have him yeah. have his haircuts booked out three months in advance. Yeah. But yeah. So it, you know what though? <laughs> and actually it didn't end there. Like as, once he oh, got really? done with his hair, she was like, all right, do you like it? And he was just like, Mm, and he like smiled and he just like kind of like looked at me oh like I don't know if I like this mom and I'm Am like, I allowed to say no mom? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like I'm like you know what I kind of I think he just because she had it really slicked in a really weird way and I was like I think if you could just like kind of blow dry and make it look kind of cool and I instantly knew that I just like upset her and I felt so bad I was like Aww. was I being rude like I I don't know but like I want him to feel comfortable and happy with his hair and he yeah. did look cute it's not like he didn't look cute or anything yeah. but I was like like um maybe just like blow dry it a little bit maybe it'll make him feel like better and um after that he was just like thanks but i could tell he's he was so like, particular i think Aww. he just wanted travis i think he really likes travis oh it's not necessarily- i'll have to see if i can squeeze him in and get him yeah. like a surprise haircut with travis he but you know what that. he was so good and yeah. you know what it makes finn be good yeah because then finn sat, na- sit, sat next to him and he got his haircut and was they totally happy together. and no had no issues yeah yeah so. by the way today is a uh, international twins day and we don't have twins, but I just, it made me think of Ollie and Finn because we oh, dress them alike yeah. all the time. <laughs> They're basically twins. It's also International like Watermelon Day. I just saw it on tw- like trending. I thought it was twins. 
I saw a watermelon. Oh my goodness, so you guys, all these international days, I cannot <laughs> keep up with. Yeah, so um, Ollie turned five. We had a birthday party for him, and so I fun. gotta say, one of my favorites. We've always thrown some. Yeah, it was crazy. really cool. It was like so fun. Everyone kind of just like was having fun and doing their own thing. We didn't have like any real structure or like games or like yeah. planned activities. So the kids got to eat when they wanted to eat. They could swim when they wanted to eat. They could play when they wanted to play. They could, you know, go in the reptile room when they wanted to. Mm -hmm. It just created like a really cool flow. And a lot yeah. of a lot of the kids kind of like stuck together into things together. Yeah. But it was super fun. No, it was it just was. kids having fun and all around us. It was amazing. We obviously, I think a lot of people know, we kind of go all out for birthday parties, which yeah. is totally fine. But um I would say that this year I decided to kind of keep it a little more low key. I.e., she made me grill cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not getting anyone to deliver food. We're I'm not like, getting a caterer. It's, uh, <laughs> I look forward to the parties it's because fun. we always we always have lots of people who cook really cool food. Well, yeah, I mean it's like a party and for I'm in, everyone. Now I'm like in the I'm under my barbecue like flipping burgers. It's cute. <laughs> forty. I made forty cheeseburgers. I know it wasn't enough either. And you know that's the thing. Too, it wasn't like, enough. <laughs> I, I, we and half a, of them were burnt and half a, were raw. Yeah. <laughs> we had a really awesome, like low key party. Cause normally yeah. we invite a lot of friends and a lot of like friends that like we're acquaintances with. Or, oh yeah. Like, we just like, well, we have, what's great about the house we live in is it's, it's, it's big. good size yeah. and we like to entertain and we like to we invite love, as many people over as we can. And I love throwing parties. It's yeah. probably my favorite thing. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I think at this point I would definitely want to be like a party planner or yeah. something like that. And so it's definitely one of my favorite things, but I just decided, you know what, I, we've got a lot on our brains, on our minds, on a lot on our plate right now. I'm just going to try and keep it super close friends and family. Like really, really really close and it worked out really well like I was able to really enjoy the party I yeah. was able to just kind of like talk and hang out and hang out with Ollie and like celebrate him and not necessarily feel like I'm entertaining a bunch of people so it was really really good and I'm super happy how it turned out yeah it so, was super fun yeah um we also got a new family member. Yes. Should we tell them? Wait, you're pointing to my belly right now. Oh, no, I was pointing to your face as in you should tell them our new family member. <laughs> um, our new family member is a bearded dragon. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> cute little Draco. So cute. I love it. He like, we can't take a drink at the same time. This I know. Year. Why did we both just, we're like silent. <laughs> yeah. If it gets silent, it's because we're both sipping. We're at the same both time. like really thirsty. <laughs> um, yeah. So Ollie's been begging for some sort of He animal. loves reptiles. Reptile. He just loves reptiles, lizards, crocodiles, he's tarantulas, He's been saying scorpions. bearded dragon for months, yeah. but he switched it from gecko, a, a frog. He just wanted something. And you know what? Bearded dragons are not too difficult to care for. And yeah. I was like... Bearded dragons are kind of cute. They're fun. So we Yeah, it's got been really cool. We have it in his playroom now, and um, we need to redesign his playroom, but mm -hmm. like, I feel like it's a great place for it. It's very central, and yeah. he gets lots of love and attention, and he yeah. comes out and he crawls on our shoulders, and he's, he's a cool be, little lizard. He's going to be a cool pet as they get older. Yeah. They live about 10 years. They get about 17 to 20 inches long. Yeah. Um, and I think he's going to be really cool because they, they tend to be very docile animals for a while and so yeah I'm just you know I'm actually really proud of Ollie he's been caring for him I will say if you guys haven't watched us give him the uh bearded dragon oh, on his birthday yeah. it was like a small birthday party yeah we had a little family birthday party it was Harry Potter it was themed the <laughs> most magical moment and I'm not even sure because normally our videos really can like make things look magical but I don't know if you can understand how magical the moment was yeah. in real life yeah yeah it was actually the the thing about the videos we we do on on daily bumps is I'm always trying to get the real reactions out of the kids mm -hmm. And that was one where it yeah. worked and it was so great. And like, I just like keep replaying it in my head and I get all teary eyed because I'm like, it worked. And that's just all I was trying to do was just surprise him in a fun way. And, yeah. and it, it was, was really cool. But the vlog is called uh, Magical Birthday Surprise, I think, yeah, on uh, Daily Bumps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just so, it was so amazing. Like I really, like we stressed about it for a few weeks, especially leading up to the day. We're like, how are we going to like do this? We knew we wanted it to be some sort of magical moment. Like yeah. a, he performs a spell because he loves Harry Potter right now and he makes the dragon appear. We're like, well, how are we going to do that? He loves like, Harry Potter and he's a Slytherin. Yeah. <laughs> and so he says he is. <laughs> yeah. He Which, loves all the bad guys anyway. He's yeah. his favorite characters are Gaston and Draco Malfoy. Yeah. Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, can can you be Voldemort, Daddy? <laughs> and I'll be a Death Eater for Halloween. <laughs> 
So yeah, I mean, he was, it was really, really cute. And the way we made it happen, it was just it, not like, there were just so many tears in that yeah. room. Like we were just like everyone, cause no one really knew how it was going to happen or what was going to happen. So we had friends there too. And they were just like, what just happened? Yeah. They didn't really catch Did that it. just happen? Yeah. Did he just make <laughs> a bearded dragon come to life? It was so cute. I'm yeah. still so excited about it. So, but yeah, now we have a new pet for the next now 10 we, years. Yay. <laughs> so we have a new podcast baby. We have a new, um, mm-hmm. Um, bearded dragon baby mm-hmm. are there any other babies coming <sighs> everyone wants to talk about me having a baby is that what you're alluding to no i was just i don't know <laughs> i'm just like is there anything you're about to tell me or like <laughs> that's what i'm i don't know i guess i'm you just know, on high alert i know <laughs> i mean this is like me too <laughs> i'm always like wait a second am i about to get pregnant soon <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is like wait what day is it <laughs> count <laughs> yeah i don't know oh my goodness that is a whole subject of itself babies um but yeah so our kids are getting i don't know yeah we'll we'll talk about it yeah but our... both of our kids are at that age where they are getting to be just so much fun they're really mm-hmm. close they're independent they're almost self-sufficient not quite yeah but... we have them both enrolled in school this year yeah that's crazy to me i like, never thought i would do that yeah. For like Finn. So Finn is going to be in like a class. It's a, do they call it like a potty training class? Yeah. Yeah. It's like. So I he's not currently potty training. Like he's almost there. Yeah. He's, he's like, like 80%. He's like peeing on the potty, but yeah. like, you know, so. So it's a class for him to go and they kind of will help with that and like watch him like yeah. during the same hours that Ollie will be learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So he'll spend like those hours just kind of potty training, which I think once I'm almost thinking next week when we're on vacation, we could probably whip it out pretty quickly. Totally. But in, in if, as soon as he is potty trained, he goes right into the next class, no matter what time of the year it is. Oh, really? Yeah. So he'll go straight into then the regular preschool day. Oh, wow. So um, I think he'll be potty trained That's quickly. crazy. It's going to be, the structure is going to be so good for him. No, it's going to be so weird not having kids in the house. Like, or just for like, there's going to be three days a week where yeah. there's just no kids in the house. For like a half a day. I'm going, <laughs> yeah, for half a day. But I think thing- I'm going to get baby fever, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to be like, wait. I think... I might actually get some stuff done. I know, That's what right? I'm thinking. I'm like all summer I have been at my desk with kids clawing at yeah, me and hard. I'm like, I've got all these big dreams and aspirations and it's, it's hard. It's yeah. hard when you have kids. Well, it's hard. It's not hard. I love them, but it's, it's not necessarily hard when you have kids, but it's hard when you work from home. Yeah. When you're yeah. like a business entrepreneur and you work from your house, yeah. that makes it a hundred times harder. And I, I feel like a lot of people can to relate to that. Cause I feel like a lot of people these days are kind of like doing their own thing, running their own businesses or attempting. And it is really, really hard when you have children. So, yeah. um, yeah, I needed, I, I, yeah I, I, we've been talking about the N word a lot, the nanny. nanny. Oh my goodness. And I mean, it's just for, it would just like, but think about it this summer, mm-hmm. how great would it have been a couple days a week, someone come in for three hours and do activities with them, yeah. allow us to answer emails, do meetings and stuff. We're like honestly, talking about this like live in front yeah, of we you guys. Are I'm sorry, about, but, but you know what? Honestly, I'm just letting you know, like yeah. it, it's going to be really nice to have them in school because we're yeah. going to have some scheduled time to ourselves. Mm-hmm. We can go shopping Ooh. at 10 in the morning. We don't have to go <laughs> when everyone else is off. off. It's, do uh, some grocery you shopping. Know, like, yeah. We can go shopping. Like we can get stuff done. Well, yeah, I I'm mean, I think because this is always actually speaking of marriage, <laughs> this has always always been kind of a hot topic for us because having a nanny just seems like such a prestigious thing to me. It always sounded so like, like oh, I can't care for my own kids. I need a nanny. But I've realized over the past, especially a few months, but over the past year, like it's not like that. Like yeah. if you, it's need, just it's not possible to do, yeah. sometimes do it without a nanny and. and it, it, a nanny doesn't necessarily need mean like, oh, they live in your house and take care of your kids 24-7. It's someone who knows your kids very well. Yeah. And what they do for you is take the guilt off of <laughs> what is you're not with them anyways because you're working. And they so instead of them being, like being in their room watching an iPad yeah. or like doing mindless nothing, they're actually doing like an educational yeah. activity or outside yeah. like... It's so, I'm just like, why did we should have done that this summer? Like we had all the, the like plans to like, okay, while we're working, Ollie will be working on his preschool stuff and like da da da. But it just, there just just wasn't enough hands. Yeah. It takes a village, you guys. It's crazy. And, and it's not like we obviously got by without one and we totally could. We have a lot of help. And I'm not saying we need one to get through. I'm just saying like, 
I'm always thinking about what is that next step for us? Yeah. What is the next thing to bring us to the next level? It's just how I think. My brain never stops. And it's just what happens when you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. And, and at I'm... certain points, you get to you get to blocks. And sometimes yeah. you have to bring more he- help in to, to get, grow, to you get know, to yeah, to, yeah, to grow. No, and that's, totally and that's how it is running a business. It's weird because it's that business concept, yeah. but it's thinking it in terms of your family, you well, know? And I think that, so I there just, are a lot of blurred lines. I think as a wife and as a mom, it always just took me, it's taken me a long time to adjust my thoughts to this. And maybe it's just the perfect amount of time for me to realize that this is what I need instead of like, yeah, let's just do it. And then me being angry that it's happening, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, you know, even the, t- the topic of a housekeeper was a really hot topic. And I remember the first time he brought it to me, I was like pissed. I, I was mean, really confused because I was like, wait, you like doing laundry? I was like, <laughs> I can take care of my own damn house. Don't tell oh, me I, know. I need a housekeeper. Yeah. Do not tell me that my house isn't clean enough for you. I like know. I was mad. And, and that's not what I was trying to do no, at all. No. Not at all. I no. literally am just thinking of ways to make our life easier so that yeah. we can do cooler, bigger things. And once we were able to have that access to a housekeeper, I like relaxed and I was able to then actually dedicate more time to the kids. Yeah. And I was able to dedicate more time to my husband and, you know, and like it, it gave me more yeah. options. Now, if I didn't have a business to run, I probably could focus a little more on, you know, those things. But now yeah. I'm, you know, every year our plate just seems to get more full and like we kind of need more help and you know, I mean, we're just all, we're honestly just still growing and learning on what we we're want. We're still figuring it out. You guys, yeah. you know, we don't, we're just, we're, figuring it out. we're still a normal family yeah. who's living in a house that <laughs> is, I get, I know it's a little bit large, but you know what? It's not in LA. It's not in LA. <laughs> it's, it's there, in a cute there are a lot town. of people in this house yeah. <laughs> also, like uh-huh. we would not be able to do what we do Mm-mm. anywhere smaller. The... And, I, and it's crazy to say that, but like our business, yeah. what goes on behind the scenes is just, it would be much funny. easier to yeah. live in a smaller home and, and mm-hmm. have, but we wouldn't be able to like do the same kind yeah. of things, like make the same kind of videos, do the same kind of, um, entertainment kind of things. Like we need wide open spaces. spaces. Yeah. We need wide open spaces. All YouTubers do. Yeah. When YouTubers are buying, buying new houses, they're just buying places with bigger backyards yeah. so that we can I do cooler things in the backyard. <laughs> our home. I love it. I think yeah. it's the perfect little place to raise our kids it's got all the main things that it needs but you know what else i love i love going on vacation yeah this is what we're doing next week yeah so we're recording this thing and then we're getting the heck out of dodge you guys yeah get out of here we are headed (laughs) to on our little anniversary trip but we are bringing the boys which because i think in the end we do get to go on a lot of trips together yeah and I was just like, you know what? Let's celebrate what we've created at, in our 10 years of marriage, which is our two little boys. And, you know, just kind of be as a family. But also, I kind of would like to hang out with you alone. So let's bring my parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're actually going on a little trip and it's going to be so nice. I know. It's going to be really cool. I just really want to, like, get away. We've got everything done for the for the week we got all our work done so we're we just, just gotta pack like our bags have fun and yeah. like relax in the sun i haven't seen i i let messy book it all you booked the airplane yes i booked the did airplane you book, did you book our car to the i did hotel, the, nice, i've okay. done everything yeah and you got the airbnb yeah i got it i haven't seen any of it he hasn't seen it but it's amazing all oh right. my goodness i'm so excited and you know this was kind of a last minute thing we've been we're kind of last minute on every single thing we do in our freaking <laughs> life including this podcast yeah <laughs> but um we were like i was like let's just do it and then we ended up just choosing florida which is one of my favorite places mm-hmm. to go it's just perfect weather perfect, perfect water Water. the golf and we're like let's see if katie and colin can come and oh yeah so they're coming down and i'm so excited if you guys don't know katie and colin the sweetest youtube family yep the best they're from my alabama awesome friends. uh we love them and they happen to be close and i'm like this is gonna be so cool so we get to see them we haven't yeah. seen them in a long time just because we're so all fun. just busy kids and raising kids you know we've talked about in the past he has a podcast yeah yeah and so we were kind of thinking maybe we'll do like a collab podcast with either both of them or just him oh yeah it'd be awesome to throw 
Katie and Colin on Hey Babe, huh? Because mm-hmm. we're all just a bunch of babes. Yeah. We're no, all it, Hey Babe in each other all I week anyway. so <laughs> fun. So hopefully we have time for it, but let us know like what you guys want to hear from us. Totally. I hope you guys are excited about it because If you have I any questions really for um, like us with Colin and Katie, just let us know on our Twitter at Hey Babe. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to go to Florida, enjoy some really beautiful weather, the sun, soak it up. And uh, relax. I love that ocean. The last time we were there, I remember. I remember just like standing in it for like four hours straight. And I've everyone lost their sunglasses in the ocean. I'm not taking my sunglasses to the ocean. Says yeah, Missy you are. when I do it and then I lose them. She literally just bought a brand new pair of Ray Bans and yeah. they will live in the bottom of the Gulf. I hope not. By the end of next week. <laughs> um, yeah. It's so just inevitable. I am super excited about that. It's going to be awesome celebrating 10 years with him. Are we going to go parasailing? I really want to. That's what I was going to say. I actually, every time I've gone, I've either had little babies okay. or been pregnant yeah, 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 yeah. and I just couldn't leave. Who did I, wait, who did I go parasailing with? You, maybe Jared? No, Jared went with Ellie because I remember his thumbnail was they were kissing while Paris. Oh, I went right. with Cullen. Oh, did you? That's right. I remember I went oh, with Cullen. Katie's and he's so afraid. Of, yes. Like, and I remember types. Cullen up there. He was like, he had his, he had just his board shorts on. And he, as soon as we got to the top, he opened the, his, <gasps> his uh, pocket pulled out a Ziploc baggie with his phone in it. And he started... And he pulled his phone out and he started live... Li- he was periscoping. Yeah, he was like live streaming, uh, like a video streaming, like while we were in... That was awesome. That was that so was funny. So and I'm like, fun. does your phone even have a case on it, bro? He's just like holding How it like... have internet up there? I still don't know. Nuts. It was... Ah, that, that was so was fun. That'd be fun so trip. cool. So yeah, yeah, we could totally parasail or like go on a helicopter ride or... Mm-hmm. If you guys have any other like fun uh, suggestions for things we should do while we're in Florida, be sure yeah. to... Tweet us on our Twitter accounts at Brian Landing at Missy Landing. Yeah. If you know of anything cool to do um, mm-hmm. in the panhandle of Florida. Sure, we'll Florida. be Insta storing, so you can follow us on all the social medias and all that. But yeah, so yeah. we've been we're gonna celebrate ten years. What do you think about being married for ten years? Um, I don't know. What like, do you think about? I feel like that's a loaded question. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I mean, me? the no. thing is, is that I love it. I love it. We've grown up so much together. Like yeah. we've been through so much crap together. Like. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of love for each other. Yeah. No, I mean, I love it. I love what we're doing. I love our setup. I love like what we're creating together. You know, yeah. it's really fun. I feel like 10 years is a really huge milestone and it's just opening the door for like more milestones, which is like 20 years, yeah, you know, yeah. like once we, I don't know, 10 years just feels pretty big. I mean, yeah. So we've been, we did it for 10 years, like best friends for over 10 years. That's we so cool. started out as kids just going to shows together, and now we're still just kids going to shows together. <laughs> yeah. Still I learning. The shows. I used to hate the shows that Brian would take me to Oh, my high goodness. School. She still does. I used to take her to all the loud, what? screaming rock it's shows, the and she hated them. You- now I take her to the... Um, the theater with the puppets and the sexual oh, in- innuendos. Worst. She hates that. <laughs> no, no, not all the shows. Was, no, but yeah. but yeah, he used to take me to like screamo music and I used to be like, yeah, this is cool, Brian. <laughs> no, I didn't. So we've been married for 10 years. What are, what are 10 of our favorite moments? Maybe we should name ten? Like, maybe we should a name lot. 10 moments Holy from 10 years of marriage. 10 moments? Yeah, I'll give you one. Okay. Well, not even, and it's not even of a marriage, but like 10 years of knowing you. Yeah. When we got the, the, the little house. Oh, yeah. We, we, we moved in together when we were 17, living in sin. <laughs> that <laughs> little house. That. I love that little house. It yeah. was so fun. I talk about buying it and we turning it into a museum. We lived on Maple Street, so you can imagine how cute it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a really, really cool like, you got time one? in our life. You think of another, you know, you say one and I'll think of another one. Okay, um... When we were living in just a tiny little bedroom in my parents' house. Yeah, we were living with her parents and we actually unpacked all of our wedding gifts in that bedroom. <laughs> this little tiny bedroom. So like funny. the pi- we had like pictures that go in like a living room on our bedroom wall and like Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we were just kids. That was cute. Um that was really fun. What's another fun moment? Uh I, I the the trip we took to St. Croix. When oh, you were wow, super you just pregnant. Jumped ahead. That's okay. We can jump all over the place. Yeah. Um, that was such a fun was, trip. We were just talking last night about we our were top so three pregnant. favorite places we've been together, yeah. just us. And that was definitely top one, would you say? That was really fun because it was also really scary. I remember walking the streets and like have it being you know, like. And then I think even your dad was like, 
Hey, just so you know, that's like the scariest place in the world and like 300 million why murders you... happen. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was a really scary place. Yeah, it was. I don't know why you gave my dad such a weird I don't voice. know why either. <laughs> but I will say that trip is one of my top favorite places we've been. But the trip itself was difficult because I was so pregnant. Mm, and yeah. I remember crying. So I was just in so much pain. And I was just like, I'm done. Like, I'll sit on the beach, but I'm done. I am in too much freaking pain to do anything. Yeah. It was really, really sad, was actually. Sad. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was like the last of, of your mobility. <laughs> um, my f- one of my favorite times was living in the apartment in Boise, in downtown oh, Boise. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was awesome. We just, yeah, I was, we were going to college, waiting tables. We lived in a little apartment in downtown Boise. It was like artsy and yeah. like it was like the hipster scene and karma was just a baby karma was a puppy we would uh drive around on my little moped yeah. around downtown and we would go to get pizza for lunch and yeah. ice cream and go out. do you remember that little lake yeah that, like it was like a pond next karma, to like, the, learned karma to swim swam in, that. in like a f- he got like a pond in the, his backyard yeah. it was crazy so, so he was swimming in that and we were walking across do you remember when it froze over in the mm-hmm. winter time walking yes. across it yeah those were good times those are just really fun times because we were just young not really a lot of responsibility and um it was just a really really whenever i think back of that time i was just like that was really cool yeah you know so where any other moments um, I think a really cool moment was um, on YouTube when we went full time. Yeah, that was crazy. That felt like the opening up of our life. Like it kind of felt like, okay, we know where we're going now. We know. Yeah, our it was like one of the first. It was like one of the first things. It was like a, the first aha moment, mm-hmm. like in our marriage. Like, mm-hmm. oh, we figured this out, or like, oh, we well, can do this, or yeah. oh, we love doing this and it's working. You know, because like, at that point we were we had just been kind of getting by which is very normal. Totally. Paycheck um, to paycheck, living with your parents. We didn't really know exactly what we were going to end up doing. You know, we were like, let's just have a baby. Like at this point we'd been with, we'd been married for like five years before we had a baby. Yeah. So we had still been trying to figure out what exactly are, are we doing? Is he going to go with a photography business and he's going to run with that? Is he going to be a videographer? Is he going to be a tech guy? Like there were like all these possibilities. Am I going to be a manager at a steakhouse? Totally. Because like, I could have done that. Yeah you could have gone in any any possible direction and as soon as like we just like dabbled in this youtube thing could have totally we were like home steak every night (laughs) sorry (laughs) that would have been really awesome i'm really mad you didn't choose that sorry (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i mean i think at that moment we kind of were like okay like let's let's do this and we didn't know for sure how far it would go at that point it didn't feel like a huge risk because like we said we it's not like he had to give up a career he had lots of different things that he was dabbling in he like we like went towards that one and it was just like wow it was the one that was working yeah Yeah. and that was such a cool like moment because it's opened up so many doors our life is forever changed and we will have so many options for us as the years to come. So okay, that was that was four moments. Maybe ten is too many. Too much. Okay, you want to just come up with one more? Uh, one more big moment. I mean, purchasing our first house. Oh yeah. This house is like. So, oh, that was such so a awesome. big moment for us. Yeah. Uh yeah no I mean we were able to purchase our first home in such a beautiful area, put a a huge down payment down, which is such a big accomplishment for us because. We worked really hard. We worked really, <laughs> really hard to be able to do that and to yeah. be able to make the right choices for our family for the years to come. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, you could just, you could name our two children as one. <laughs> yeah, we should probably mention them. Well, you <laughs> our know, kids I being feel born. like <laughs> everyone uses that yeah. one as their first thing. And I think it's awesome that it doesn't have to be our first option. It's, it is. It's obviously oh, they're the, huge moments the in our life. Main, the main yeah, yeah. moments in our life. Um, but there's there are so, so many other many. things that have defined us, though. And um, we'll talk more about them on this podcast. That's what it's for, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I actually have a appointment in about 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> and I'm getting my face ripped to pieces. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, very planned out, not last minute episode of Hey Babe. we were totally prepared. We had a whole page of notes. We didn't even get to them because we just had so much fun talking. Yeah, I actually (laughs) had some notes about, you know, just some awesome comments from you guys. So I'm not going to be able to read them, but I will say thank you. Thank you guys so much. Like it's been so awesome being able to read such positive 
stuff that they're just kind of getting to see us like open up and just be ourselves and like we have so many different outlets and this is such a fun one and we've just saw we've seen so much cool feedback about it so thank you guys it's been really awesome like seeing like who's following the podcast and mm-hmm. a lot of like fun. OGers following the podcast yeah. which is really cool um and just a lot of like fun people who are getting to know us so that's really awesome yeah so thank, thank you. you guys leave us a rating and review in itunes follow us at hey babe thanks for watching we'll see you guys next week yeah cheers babe cheers get happy to your anniversary. appointment happy anniversary babe i love you love you